Welcome all. In this lecture, we are going to solve an example based on Nyquist criteria. So a unity feedback system has a loop transfer function that is given as g of s equals to s plus 2 over s plus 1 into s minus 1. What we need to do is use Nyquist criteria to determine the system stability in the closed loop configuration. So for doing this, we need to plot the Nyquist plot and for plotting the Nyquist plot, we need to follow all the five steps that we discussed in the previous lectures. So let us move on to the step number one. That is determination of transfer function. Since the open loop transfer function is given into our question, that is g of s equals to s plus 2 over s plus 1 s minus 1 moving on to step number 2 that is putting s equals to j omega so on putting s equals to j omega we get g of j omega equals to j omega plus 2 over j omega plus 1 j omega minus 1 we just put it s equals to j omega in this equation after this we need to find out the magnitude so the magnitude will be calculated as mod of g of j omega and it will be equals to under the root omega square plus real part ka square that is 2 square so omega square and 2 square will be equals to 4 after this under the root omega square plus 1 square that is omega square plus 1 and omega square plus minus 1 to the power 2 that is nothing but 1 so it will also equals to omega square plus 1 only Moving on to third step that is calculation of phase angle. So the phase angle can be represented as angle of g of j omega and it is equals to tan inverse of imaginary part over real part. So imaginary part is omega and real part is 2 here minus for the denominator term and we write tan inverse of imaginary part over real part that is omega over 1 minus imaginary part over real part so tan inverse of omega and here the real part is minus 1 so we write minus 1 here since we can also write it as g of j omega will be equals to tan inverse of omega by 2 minus tan inverse of omega minus this term in which sine is positive and cos is negative so this can be written as 180 degree minus tan inverse of omega because it shows second quadrant in which sine is positive and cos is negative so the second quadrant can be written as 180 minus of the angle that's why we can write it as so the final angle of g of j omega is equals to tan inverse of omega over 2 minus 180 degree and this minus minus will become plus and this term will be cancelled out with this term so our final expression for the phase angle is this now let us form a table for the various values of omega
let us divide it into three sections here is the value of omega here is the mod of g of j omega here is angle of g of j omega now let us put down all the values of omega that is 0, 0.0 after that for 0, 0.2 we will check then after for 0, 0.5 after then we will check for 5 then after we will check for 10 then we check for infinite at omega equals to 0, 0.0 we get the magnitude by applying 0, 0.0 in this formula we get magnitude equals to 2 at omega equals to 0, 0.2 we get 1.93 at omega equals to 0, 0.5 we get 1.64 at omega equals to 5 we get 0, 0.20 at omega equals to 10, we get magnitude equals to 0 0.10 and at omega equals to infinite, finally we get magnitude equals to 0 only. Moving on to the phase angle, at omega equals to 0, when we put it in this formula, we get the angle equals to minus 180 degree. At omega equals to 0 0.2, we get minus 174.2. 8, 8 degree at omega equals to 0 0.5 we get minus 165.96 degree at omega equals to 5 we get minus 111.80 degree at omega equals to 10 we get a phase angle equals to 101.90 at omega equals to infinite, finally we get minus 90. Now let's move on to the plotting part. So this is our four quadrants. This is 0 degree or 360 degree. This is 90 degree or we can say that minus 270 degree. This is 180 degree or minus 180 degree and this is nothing but 270 degree or minus 90 degree <coughs> now let's analyze this table on the basis of all these angles we can say that at omega equals to 0 our angle starts from minus 180 degree that is here and at omega equals to infinite it will end at minus 90 degree that is here so we can say that our polar plot will lie in the third quadrant only. Okay. Let's analyze the magnitude. So at omega equals to 0, the magnitude is equals to 2 only. So here, if here it is 2, then at omega equals to 0, it will start from here. And at omega equals to infinite, it will go to the origin that is here at omega equals to infinite now let us plot all these angles so here is the minus 180 degree then minus 174 degree will be here minus 165 degree will be here then minus triple one degree will be here and minus 101 degree will be here and minus 90 degree is nothing but here so now plot this magnitude onto this lines so at minus 180 degree the magnitude is 2 this is minus 180 degree and the magnitude is 2 only at minus 174 degree the magnitude is 1.93 so 
so 1.93 will be here at magnitude at uh, angle of uh, 165 degree the magnitude is 1.64 so here 165 degree and the angle 1.6 will be here at minus triple one degree the magnitude is 0 0.2 so this is minus triple one degree and the magnitude is 0 0.2 at minus 101 degree the value is 0 0.10 so here is a 0 0.10 so it is here and finally at minus 90 degree the magnitude is 0 only now let us make a curve so following all these points our polar plot will start from omega equals to 0 following an anti-clockwise direction and go to the origin at omega equals to infinite so this is all about our polar plot representation since we know that the Nyquist plot is nothing but a mirror image of polar plot so the Nyquist plot will be look like this only and the direction which the polar plot follows is also equals to the direction followed by the Nyquist plot that's why Nyquist plot also follow anti-clockwise direction and here is the 0 minus will lie since 0 and plus and 0 minus both lie at the magnitude 2 that's why it is a perfect Nyquist plot now let us find out that the system is stable or not since here is the magnitude that is equals to 2 so we can easily ensure that here is the magnitude equals to minus 1 and we can say that the point that is minus 1 plus 0 j this point which is represented by it here is successfully encircled by the Nyquist plot and since it is encircled by the Nyquist plot so how many circle are there only one circle and in which direction in anti-clockwise direction since we know that the num and represent number of circles so the number of circle is one only and anti-clockwise direction represent always the positive sign that why it is n equals to plus one now move on to the calculation of p so p represents number of positive poles since our open loop transfer function g of s is given as g of s equals to s plus 2 over s plus 1 into s minus 1 so on equating this term we get a negative pole at minus 1 but on equating this to 0 we get a positive pole at plus 1 so the number of positive pole is equals to 1 only that's why p value is only one pole since we know a relation that is n equals to p minus z substituting the value of n and p 1 equals to 1 minus z so the z value will become 0 here and p value is 1 here so we can say that our open loop transfer function open loop system is unstable but our closed loop system will be stable so this is the observation of its stability on the basis of the value of p and z we can determine mine it thank you